I grew up in the South. My father was a Pentecostal preacher. He had no television. And so every Saturday, my mother would take me to the library. And so this book that I've been writing has been on for six years, and a lot of that was character development, world building. And I'm going to read for the first time um, in front of an audience I've shared with different people who write. Um, one is a snapshot into the setting, and the other is going to read like a roller coaster ride. But I promise you, there's some light at the end of the tunnel. So if it gets intense, just bear with me. Um, so here we go. I've also been told that this is a um, post apocalyptic southern gothic restoration story. Um, <laughs> if, um, if you go and look at some of the paintings next door in my show, um, I think if you look at them closely, you'll see that they're actually illustrations for this book. Atop the hill, just beneath the giant oak, Hector had named Sergeant, said a 1979 Winnebago. In its former life, it had been white and wore gold and silver stripes but in this present life it had risen to higher purpose. From its perch, the old Winnebago served as a small library to the cosmos. The children of Mayweather Springs had re-envisioned it, painted it deep purple and adorned it with brightly colored stars and planets. Inside it had been stripped save only a couch that Abigail had re -upholstered. With silver vinyl she had salvaged from one of the other vehicles. Also spared was a front passenger seat that swiveled. Hector had crafted bookshelves along the walls of the interior, which Abigail had intermingled with books on astronomy and astrology. Mostly scavenged or excavated from the remains of long abandoned houses, overgrown libraries, and now dilapidated department stores that surrounded the outskirts of the township. Over the past ten years, the collection had grown to crowd the shelves, leaving little room for new arrivals. At the front of the RV, where the driving console had once existed, Hector had fashioned his own interpretation of a radio. It was functional, fed by the steam-powered generator at the base of the hill, also attributed to Hector's ingenuity. It broadcast a signal from an old ham radio antenna mounted atop the front of the RV, which jutted out just enough to clear the Oaks County. Abigail would often come here. She would lounge in the swivel chair of the star-spangled Winnebago and read bedtime stories to the children of Mayweather, who huddled around makeshift radios, hanging on to every word with delight. Sometimes she told them stories that didn't require reading, stories that lived inside her, magical stories that the children had recently began to believe were entirely possible. Thank you. Shall I continue? All right. Do I have more time? You just about three minutes. Just three minutes? Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't think I can read it in three. What? I don't think I can read it in three. Go as far as you can. Go as far as I can? Yeah, Lee. Okay. Barnum and Bailey always leave a morning more. <laughs> she had not for a long time entertained the notion of an interventionist God, but on this night she lifted her eyes to the star-speckled vastness above and called out in prayer and desperation to all available deities. She sang to them to place a strong wind at her back to shine brighter so that she could drink in their light, and she prayed. She prayed that they, that they would burden the beasts. In answer to her prayer, the stars swelled brighter before her, and a sudden wind arose and placed its shoulder upon her back and pushed her forward, as every deity that man or woman had ever pondered trained heavenly eyes upon her and sent her their strength and solemn hope. Even the moon seemed to whisper down, chanting with pulses of light, Run, Layla, run! But no prayer sought deity no light-breathing celestial orb, no magically summoned wind, and no whispering waxen gibbous moon could slow the raging beast, or still, or still the scent of her from its nostrils. Relentless was nostrils flared and fangs fashion, uh, flashing came the beast. Wow.